On every planet in the galaxy, you'll find the Flux, a powerful, magical energy. Here on the Killian, we call it the Breath. Flux is so strong that it had to be banned, except in galactic football, the most spectacular sport in the universe. But 15 years ago, a mysterious explosion rocked Achillean, swept the breath away, and destroyed our chances in the Galactic Football Cup. 15 years without a decent team, and nothing but snow and ice. Now, hope lives again. Young, new players to revive the breath of Achillean. Our fate is in their hands. Galactic Football. Last time on Galactic Football. Good. The game has begun. The only way we can beat them is to surprise them. You have to be the best. The important thing, Jock, is the game. You have to forget who you are, or rather, who people would like you to be. No! We're just right over. <laughs> Those of you who still have nails can keep biting them during the penalty time. They've never finished matches in that condition before. They're very sick, Arch. Huh? Clamp? I learned about your mother. You have to live in the here and now, boy. Narata, here? You think he'll be a football wizard like you? It's a little too soon to tell, don't you think? Well, he'll be proud of his father today anyway. You're going to play great. I'm sure of it. Can you believe it, Kira? If we beat the Shadows, it's our ticket to Genesis Stadium. You'll finally be able to have your chance there. They have the biggest movie studios in the galaxy. Oh, Narata, that would be wonderful. Telling me the nature of your visit, business or pleasure? Neither. Okay, you can go. Next. Passengers from Achillean are expected at gate number 26 to collect their luggage. You mean you're telling us that each of us has a synthetic flux in us, and that's why we've gone this far in the competition? We really don't know what the influence of the Metaflux is on the breath of Achillean, but it's very possible that it helped it to reappear and strengthened it. And this thing's dangerous to our health? It's very likely, but we can't confirm that at 100%. Basically, you don't know squat. Huh? You're ruining the thrill of victory over pure speculation. And we're supposed to believe you? What you can believe, Jock, is that Technoid will do anything to recover this flux. Am I dreaming? It's Sunny Blackbones! Even if it means endangering your lives, it's an undetectable weapon that would allow them to rule supreme over the galaxy. And how do you know that? 
I created it. I created the Metaflux. Along with me. What? You? But why? How was that possible? <sighs> That's a very long story. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Remain calm. Please do not intervene in the Technoid security operation. Huh? Hey, you! The snow hits floor. Hurry! Who do you think you are? I'm going to notify the... You're going to answer my question in the next two seconds, or else. We worked on this secret project for months before realizing it was for the wrong reasons and for the wrong people. So we tried to keep our invention out of the hands of these people. But our plan failed, and the Metaflux exploded on Achillion. Causing the Ice Age. And contaminating us? Hmm. You were all born shortly after the explosion. Not far from its epicenter. It was inside us the whole time. And we didn't even know it. So if I got this right, either we keep the Metaflux and we're in danger, but we have a chance of winning, or we get rid of it, we all live, but we risk losing. That's the general idea, right? Pretty crummy choice you're giving us. Perhaps, but the choice is yours. I can't decide for you. They're your bodies. All I can do is advise you to do it. Don't you want us to win the cup? More than anyone else in the galaxy, Jock. So? So what I want more than anything else is that you stay alive. Ah. There we go. All your luggage has been moved. I'm not even going to ask why you wanted to change hotels. But why a hotel so far away from the other one? And why couldn't I tell my wife and kids? This is definitely the last time I take care of a football team. I really hope you lose your next match. Don't worry, Jado. You'll be able to go back to your planet soon. They're all determined to do everything possible to make us lose. Really? We remind our guests that the panoramic restaurant will remain open until 2 a.m. Excuse me. I'd like to see Rocket, the Snow Kid's captain. I'm his... Where are they? Where are the Snow Kids? I don't know. They changed hotels. Why didn't you, you tell uh, me before? Maybe because you didn't ask nicely? Let him go. What business is it of yours? None whatsoever. But that's exactly where I excel. Let's go. Thank you. You really don't know where they are, do you? Sorry. If I could help you, I would. Come with me, please. Come with me, Narata. We have to leave. Together. I'm staying here with Rocket. We have to rebuild Achillion. Kira, hurry up! Our ship's gonna leave! You know what this means for my career, Narada. I'll come back. I promise. I'll come back and I'll be a star. I don't need a star. I just need my wife. Beautiful, huh? I always thought that I'd be one of these stars one day. You're already one of these stars, Jock. Getting rid of the Metaflux won't change that. 
What if we lose the match against the Technoid, huh? What if this whole adventure suddenly ends? It would be like it never existed. Like I never existed. Jock, that bracelet with the medallion you have, where'd you get it? It was my mother's. Why? Was? She died giving birth to me. Uh... You knew my mother? Jock, there are only two medallions like this. The one that belonged to your mother, and this one. She gave it to me for our wedding. You understand, don't you? You're my... Yes, Jock. I can't believe it. I have a father, and he's Sonny Blackbones. I would have preferred to remain called Esau. This curve is irrefutable proof of the existence of Metaflux. My god, we did it! I don't know why, but I fear that this success of ours is going to cause us a lot of trouble. Well, gentlemen, here's an invention that the Flux Society won't appreciate a bit. Imagine if this Flux fell into the wrong hands. If it were used for military purposes, for example, the Flux Society would see nothing but danger in it. A lot of danger. But rest assured, that's not at all our intention. Well, gentlemen, I'll let you get back to work. It's not the right moment to talk it over, Jock. But for now, you have to get back to your teammates. You have an important decision to make. What? You're incompetent, Baldwin. Incompetent! You're going to search every single hotel, even the worst dives in Genesis Stadium. And you're gonna find them for me. Yes, General, sir. The Metaflux can't escape my grasp a second time. I won't tolerate it. General, His Most Supreme Highness Duke Maddox, great leader of the huh? Technoid, wishes to speak with you. Put him through. Your Highness, it is an honor. Don't overdo it, Blaylock. I know you don't care for me. Your Highness. But don't worry, I don't think very highly of you either. And what I've just learned only adds to my distrust of you. What's all this talk about a raid on the Snow Kids Hotel? We thought we were hot on the heels of the pirate leader, Sonny Blackbones. Yes, well, I don't want any bad publicity three days before our most certain victory. You hear? Indeed, Your Highness. I don't want to hear anything about you until the match. Is that understood, Blaylock? Yes, Your Highness. Technoid, Grumble, and Riker Park are proud to present the Galactic Football Cup semi-final match between the Snow Kids and the Technoid. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. In just a few minutes, this historic semi-final match will begin. It's historic for two reasons, Callie. This is the first time a small club like Achillean has reached this stage of the competition, and it's also the first time these two teams have faced each other. Yes, and that's the big unknown of this match. How will the Snow Kids hold up against the Technoid Robot's phenomenal power? At any rate, this match has drawn huge crowds, and celebrities in particular. Let's talk that even movie star Vera Scott arrived this morning on our private jet. Remember that her brilliant career began right here at the Genesis Stadium Studios. But tell us, Kelly, do you have any news of the Snow Kids? Unfortunately, Nork, no. They've been practicing for three days behind closed doors with no contact whatsoever with the press. We don't even know where they're staying. Everyone has his or her own conjectures about this isolation. Do the Snow Kids have problems they want to hide from their adversaries? Or does Arch simply want to protect his players from the enormous media attention? One thing is sure, however. They can't remain invisible forever. The match begins in 30 minutes. And frankly, I'd be surprised if they decided to slip away. <laughs> Why haven't you given us news sooner? I couldn't risk contacting you. Arch has been vigilantly watching us for three days. But why this isolation? To help the Snow Kids concentrate. 
It has nothing to do with the Metaflux? Absolutely nothing. You have nothing new to report about that? No. Thank you, Dame Simbai. Stay on your guard. Indeed I will, Master. You don't find this strange? Dame Simbai is our most trustworthy member. There's no reason to doubt her word. No, of course not, Master. That was the furthest thing from my mind. defensive back, a real war, a master of control. You've come to see your son. He's really an outstanding captain. You must be extremely proud is. of him. Oh Over my there. gosh, Vera, it's her, come Vera. quick. Can I have your autograph? Vera, 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 oh wow. And, and look who has just Vera. arrived. The greatest movie star in the galaxy. Vera Scott herself. What a scene. Oh, oh wow. I should never have left you. It was a mistake. How will I ever forgive myself? Cameras? Okay. Lights? Okay. All right, everything's ready. We can shoot. Thanks, love. Vera, your turn, darling. Hey, how much longer am I going to be the light meter? You promised me a real role. Real roles are for real actresses, sweetie. If you're not happy, you can just go back to your little planet. Vera, you're absolutely divine! Vera, sweetie, don't forget that you have a meeting with the journalists after the match. Dazzle them like the star that you are. Snow kids as soon as they appear on the field. Let's hope they still have the Metaflux in them. His Highness, Duke Maddox. General, you're going to sit at my side. I prefer having you next to me rather than behind my back. Come our players. It's even more impressive than the last match. The atmosphere is absolutely insane. Everyone's waiting for one thing and one thing only. The match you really think we made the right decision and here we go for two halves of unbearable suspense which of these two teams will make it to the GF final it's too early to tell
they sure cut a fine figure, don't they? They're gonna make short work of these runs. For two halves of unbearable suspense. Which of these two teams will make it to the GF final? It's too early to tell. You can't imagine a worse start for the Snow Kids. <laughs> fantastic. They're fantastic. <laughs> they don't have the Metaflux anymore. You're not cheering for our valiant team, Blaylock. Don't get discouraged. I'm sure you still have the breath in you. How much more time? At least an hour. Sonny, let me handle it. I can take it to a safe place. The Wambas planet. No one would go looking for it there. No, it's my responsibility. But you're the most wanted man in the galaxy. You're taking a tremendous risk. I already failed in hiding the Metaflux once, and that destroyed my life and the lives of many others. This time, I have to succeed. I understand. I'm going to join Arch. He could certainly use my help more than you two can. Answer for Pete's sake. Answer. Aren't you going to answer? Nothing is more important than this match. It looks like our victory will be even more impressive than we expected. Don't you think so, General? Oh. I think you got the answer to your question, Microwise. We shouldn't have. Next time on Galactic Football. It has nothing to do with the breath, but it has everything to do with your self-confidence. We should have never gotten out the Metaflux. And look where we are now, at the mercy of cans. They win this. I'll jump into the Planet Achillean water fountain when it's over. And there they go! Go back, Micro-Ice. Would you shoot already? No, this is impossible. <laughs>